I never use a mobile wallet with my cryptocurrency. If you think I'm paranoid or if you want to know why, keep watching. I'm going to get into it. Hi everyone, welcome to a new episode of Crypto Tips. My name is Heidi and today we're talking about mobile wallets. I have never used a mobile wallet in my life. I'm not sure that will change anytime soon, but I realize that most people who are entering the cryptocurrency space now are doing so via their phones. Um, there's lots of cryptocurrency mobile wallets. You can do exchanges on your phone. I've never done that. Um, the only thing I use my phone in regards to cryptocurrencies is of course, two-factor authentication, not the SMS kind. The Google Authenticator app or Authy, uh, those are good options. So anyway, let's get into uh, the obvious risks of using a, your phone in regards to your use of cryptocurrencies. The first one being, the pure logistics of it. It's your phone. You probably only have one phone and it's the same phone that you use for social media, for your emails, for texting, taking photos, and your cryptocurrencies. Um, this phone you take with you everywhere. You stick it in your back pocket, you take it in your car, you take it publicly places with you. Maybe you connect to public Wi-Fi with this phone. Have you ever lost your phone? Have you ever misplaced your phone? There's all sorts of things that can happen to your device when you're taking it with you everywhere. It's attached at your hip. Um, there is a lot of, it's like, for example, I would never take my hardware wallet put it in my pocket, keep it in my purse when I'm going out and doing my day-to-day -day activities. Um, too much risk there because I value my cryptocurrency investments. For that reason, I store my hardware wallet in a very secure manner. And I do the same with any kind of a wallet that is having to do with storing my cryptocurrencies. That's why I never use a mobile wallet. Now let's get into a little bit of a conspiracy theory in back doors. Does the FBI or CIA have a backdoor on your phone? Do these software providers of mobile phones program a backdoor in them? Is the encryption of your phone actually that insecure that it's actually very easy to hack? Um, regardless, those are all risks I'm not willing to take with my, the security of my cryptocurrencies. Whether or not that's a conspiracy theory regarding government entities, the fact is backdoor attacks happen and it's not always, it's not, it's most frequently not a government entity, but actually a, a legitimate hacker an independently, uh, working hacker that's just out to steal your crypto. Um, a lot of these happen through phishing attacks. Uh, if you click on a scammy link, it could give that hacker a backdoor into your phone. A backdoor means, here's a, here's a definition for those of you who aren't sure what a backdoor is. It's any method that allows somebody, hackers, governments, IT people, etc., to remotely access your device without your permission or knowledge. If you have a mobile wallet that is storing a lot of cryptocurrencies on your phone and let's say it's, it's not password protected or the password is easily a uh, guest, you don't have two factor. Although, you know, if, if it's a remote backdoor on your phone, they can have access to your two factor authentication as well and they can get in that way. Let's say you thought you were downloading the real trust wallet, um, but it was actually a scammy link and you downloaded a scammy trust wallet and actually whatever you send into that, you're sending into the possession of someone else. That's also very uh, easily done and it's unfortunately more and more a common occurrence with cryptocurrencies. So basically for me, it's like separating how I'm storing my crypto and how I'm furthering <clears throat> to secure my crypto. Again, like I said, the only thing I use my phone for is two factor authentication. Um, so then if a, if a, if I did click on a scammy link, let's say on an email on my computer, they might be able to gain access to my wallet or like see my computer, but they can't actually log in or do anything because they don't also have access to my phone and vice versa. Um, so that's, I think, the main reason why I don't use a mobile wallet. Another important thing to pay attention to is public Wi-Fi. Your mobile phone, it's mobile, it's going with you wherever you go. And there's public Wi-Fi most places. Sometimes your phone connects to it without your knowledge. Um, and if a hacker is also on that same network, they can easily get into your phone as well and see all that you're doing. At least see, you know, maybe they could see what's in your wallet and just know that you're a target um, and then further pursue you through phishing attacks, trying to target you for scammy links as well. So here's my two cents. 
if you guys have the for me the main reason to use a mobile wallet is if you don't have a computer if you can't afford one or you don't have access to one i think that's why most people uh use mobile wallets also you should only be, in my opinion, you should only be using a mobile wallet if you're going to be using that wallet to pay for things in your everyday life. And if that's the case, it should be the same as like having cash in your wallet. You're not going to hold your entire savings account in cash in your wallet and carry that with you everywhere. You'd probably be pretty paranoid about that. So with your crypto mobile wallet, it should be very similar as well, where you're only going to put a certain amount of crypto that you plan on spending that day and no more. Um, just so then again, you're not, <laughs> you're not putting too much of your crypto unnecessarily at risk if you're not planning to use it anyway. I know Andreas Antonopoulos actually had an opinion about mobile wallets saying they're actually pretty secure. But for me, they're only secure if you're using a phone dedicated specifically to just your cryptocurrency activities. You're not using it with your social media. You're not using it with your daily email accounts, uh, texting people. You're not bringing it with you everywhere you go. Again, connecting to public Wi-Fi. Essentially using your mobile wallet as kind of uh, cold storage. It's not cold storage because it's a phone. But um, in that way, it can be secure. But again, it's not realistic. Most people aren't, number one, can't afford to have two phones, one dedicated just for their cryptocurrency uh, investments. So you got to be realistic here. So in the spirit of being realistic, if you have to use a mobile wallet in the next video, please stay tuned. I will be covering some of your options and maybe the best options for you of mobile wallets. And additionally, Trust Wallet I know is a very popular option. So I will be doing a deep dive on that one specifically in a future video as well. So if you guys haven't already, please hit subscribe to this channel and hit the like button if you got something out of this video. If you enjoyed it, appreciate it. I appreciate it if you hit the like. So anyway, uh, I'll see you again real soon. Hope you're staying happy and healthy. I'll see you.